In this video, we will showcase the HPC workflow as a service of the eFlows for HPC project, focusing especially on the digital twins pillar. As we begin, it's crucial to understand that users will have access to workflows once they are deployed by developers. This initial deployment is a one-time process allowing end users to circulate different software stacks within the community. Developers play a pivotal role. They need to implement the computational workflow, integrating different types of computations using the eFlows for HPC programming interfaces. This step is the foundation of the workflow, ensuring seamless integration and functionality. The second key step involves enabling automatic creation of container images. This is achieved by including the workflow software requirements in the workflow description. Such automation simplifies the deployment process, making it efficient and user-friendly. Next, developers must implement data logistic pipelines. These pipelines manage workflow data movements between the parallel file system of HPC clusters and external data repositories. It's a crucial step for ensuring data availability and integrity throughout the process. Integration in Tosca forms the next phase. This integration unites different workflow parts, enabling the automation of the deployment and execution processes. It's a significant step towards making the workflow user-friendly and accessible. The workflow is then deployed to an HPC cluster using Alien for Cloud. This deployment makes the workflow accessible to end users. It's the stage where the workflow, having been thoroughly developed and tested, becomes available for practical use. The final step involves configuring the credentials and executing the workflow with the HPC Workflow as a Service Execution API. This step is where end users interact with the workflow, utilizing it for their specific needs. In summary, the eFlows for HPC project facilitates a robust and user-friendly environment for developing and deploying HPC workflows, from the initial implementation by developers to the final use by end users, each step designed to ensure efficiency, ease of use, and optimal performance.